Hello, if you've been working out regularly to my previous videos, you'll have noticed an improvement in your fitness level. So I've designed this workout to take you beyond the levels which you've already achieved. But even if you haven't exercised with me before, I'm sure you'll be able to enjoy and benefit from this, my whole body program three video, aerobics and beyond. This workout is made up of four specific sections. We start with the warm-up. Like this is followed by a 20-minute aerobic workout, which will help you burn fat and strengthen your heart and lungs. Then there are the body toning exercises, which will improve strength, endurance and muscle tone. And we finish with some lovely stretches to help maintain flexibility. I'm not alone, so don't forget it. The whole workout lasts about 55 minutes, and if you want to shorten it, you can do so by omitting either the aerobics or the body toning section. But whatever you do, you must always begin with the warm up section and finish with the stretches. A few points before we begin. Always wear comfortable clothing and cushioned shoes. Don't exercise straight after a meal. And if you're in any doubt about your health, check with your doctor first. This workout is quite challenging, so as with any exercise program, do listen to your body. And if you feel any discomfort, slow down to a level that's more comfortable for you. As we go along, we'll be showing you some easier alternatives. Now let me introduce the girls, all of whom have lost weight through my diet and exercise program. Most of them come from my weekly class, and you may recognise some from my previous videos. This is Jo Bennett, who's 23 years old and 5 feet 5 and a half inches tall. She used to weigh 10 stone 10 and is now under 9 stone. Gwen Cherry, who's 52 years old, is 5 feet 4 and used to weigh 11 stone 9. Now she's down to under 10 stone. Karen Moore Evans is 25 years old and 5 feet 6. She's reduced her weight from 10 and a half stone to just under 9 stone. Marlene Kirkland is 29 and is 5 feet 5. Her weight has dropped from 12 stone 8 to just under 10 stone. And finally, Chris Biggs Hayes is 42 and 5 feet 3 inches tall. She weighed 11 and a half stone and has reduced her weight to 8 stone 2 pounds. Super now we're going to warm up, so heel toe with one foot. Nice positive move. And change legs. Now change legs and heel toe and flex the arms. And change legs again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to roll alternate shoulders round. Feet apart, keep them apart and just roll. We're mobilising the upper body now. Now forward, alternate shoulders round. Now both shoulders together and round. And we're going to take them forward and round, round. Now we're going to step to the side and we're going to flex our arms as we go. Here we go, and one, two, feet together, one, two. Bend the knees as you go. And again, two. Last time. Now we're going to do knee raises, press down with the hands, one, two. Keep the standing knee nice and soft. Now kick back. Pull the drawers out with your hands. Now hands on your hips and go round with your hips twice. In a circle. And then round the other way. 
and then do a single round, round. Now heel kicks. One, two. Flex the arms. Now hands out to the side. Point the toe. Bend the knee. Back to heel kicks. Flex the arms. And toes out to the side. Now get ready to go to the side, stepping again, flexing the arms. Here we go. One, two, and back. And out. Again. Last time. Knee raises, press down. Remember to keep the standing leg nice and soft. And kick back, pull the drawers out. Now bring your hands in front of your chest. Now twist to the side. Hips are nice and full. Just twist the upper body. And again, other side. Side bends, reaching down. Reach. Last time each side. Marching on the spot. And to the side. Here we go. One. Feet together. Bend the knees. Two. And again. Again. Feet together. Last time. Knee raises. Press down. Seven. Last one. Kick back. One. One to the side, one, two, and back, and again, flex the arms, feet together, last one, and one, and two, back, two. Now we're going to pulse raise, so just step to the side and flex the arms as you go. The idea is a bit of energy here, increasing the heart rate. Arms in front, kick back with your leg. Alternate legs, keep them wide. Now bring your arms up higher. Tummy pulls in as you do it. Now heel digs and arms flex. Back to kicking back, arms in front. and arms up really kick that leg back and heel digs now we're going to step to the side and as we do so imagine you're going to brush your hair here we go and one two back and again one two now next time reach up and reach reach and back again now just step and touch, one, arms flex, now kicking back, arms in front again, now arms up again, heel dig.
going to turn two, three, four on the spot. Three, four, back. Two. And on the spot, heel digs now, just four. One, two, three. Now to the side, reaching. One, two, and back. And again, one, two. And again, one, two. Last time. Walking forward next. Here we go, pulling the drawers. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Forward. And back. And forward. Last time. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Marching on the spot. Now we're ready for our preparatory stretches. So take your feet apart and taking a lovely deep breath, bring your hands above your head, breathing in and exhale. Keep your knees nice and soft. Now place one hand on top of your thigh and reach across to the corner of the room. And down and to the other side. Keep both knees slightly bent. And down now. Bring your feet slightly together and take your hands out behind you. Don't actually interlock your fingers, but expand your chest and raise your arms up behind you. Now, feet together and just ski down. Not actually quite touching, but just feet hip width apart. And now take one foot slightly behind the other. Hands onto the tops of the thighs. Bend both knees. The important thing here is to keep your heels on the floor. Absolutely vital. Now come up. Leg at the back goes slightly further back and bend the back leg, front leg stays straight, hands onto the front of the thighs, keep your back nice and straight, head and shoulders up, now bring your toes up so that you stretch your calf, hold it there, now come up, ski down, other leg goes back, hands onto your hips and just bend both knees, heels on the floor, Hold it there. Now come up. Leg goes a little further back. Make sure it, both feet are straight ahead. That's really important. Back leg bends. Front leg is straight. Feel the stretch at the back of this straight leg. Hold it there. Bring your toes up. Stretching the calf. Come up. Ski down. Now feet go apart. Hands go out. Now, we're going to bend both knees and go to one side. Bring this foot in slightly and then hands go forward. Now we're opening up our, our shoulders as we do this and we're stretching the inner thigh. And come centrally and change over sides. Bring this foot in, hands go forward. Inner thigh stretches, shoulders open up, now come forward, hand comes up and bend one leg back. Now if you find it difficult to do this, do as Gwen is doing and place one foot behind the other, tilt your pelvis and stretch your front thigh that way. If you can do this way, make sure your knees are together and level. Change over, other hand comes up, bend the other leg back, again if you're doing it Gwen's way, step back with one leg onto your toe and do a pelvic tilt. Hold it there. And that's the end of our warm-up. Now just swing side to side. Now in this aerobics section, we'll be including some high and low impact aerobics. Gwen will always be showing you the low impact alternative. So if you don't feel too energetic, just follow Gwen. Last one. Now bring your knees up alternately and elbows at shoulder level. Now take your hands down, elbows out and knees out. Elbows to shoulder level. Now elbows together again. And 
knees, hands down, elbows up. Now we're going to step to the side and do a full circle. Now just low impact to start off with. Knees up. And hands down. Elbows up to shoulder level. And knees up again. And elbows level with the shoulders. Hands down. Now we're going to do our side stepping, four circles, this time high impact if you want to. Round. Gwen's way if you wish. Last time. Now hands around a tree. And just step back and go turn the feet into a cut. Hands up this time. Now we're going to do a four step turn. Here we go. And one, two, three, four on the spot. One, two, three, four back. Two, three, four on the spot. And again. One, two, three, four on the spot. And back. And knees up, elbows together. And one, two, three, four. Seven and eight. Hands down, elbows up. And get ready to swing to the side again. Here we go. And round. Punch. And round. Last time, circle. And round the tree. And curtsy. Just imagine your arms. Now hands up. And big circles again. Round. Punch. Round. And march it out. Now speed it up. Keep the arms going of energy even though it's marching. Now out to the side half jacks, point the toes, swing the arms. Now in a moment we're going to do a high impact jogging movement. If you want to do low impact, follow Gwen, Gwen will always be doing the low impact alternative. Here we go. Put your heels on the floor with every step. Arms in front again. Bring them up again. Bring them down. Now we're going to go sideways into a grapevine. I'll tell you what to do. Here we go. And step behind, step together. Big breast stroke with the hands. Four more. Remember to do it low impact if you want to. Get ready to do great vibes again. Here we go. I'm step behind, step together. Change. 
arms alternately. Two, three, change. One, two, three. Now kick back, arms in front. Remember low impact if you prefer. Hands up. Now walking jog. Nice. Busy walk, move the arms. March it out. Now arms crossing in front. Come up. Hand in front. We're going to go back to jogging again. Here we go. Big press strokes. And two. And three. And four. Another four. One. Two. Three. Last one. And hang on your hips and heel toe. One. Heel digs in front, arm flex. Half jacks, point the toe. Just march it out. Just move the arms in a good steady pace with the legs. Now this time it's a bit faster and do alternate arms as well. Now arms together in front of you. Try and bring the elbows level with your shoulders. Now arms up. Put your heels onto the floor each time. Now arms in front again. Now get ready to kick across and we're going to let the arms swing as we go. Nice and easy. Give it low impact if you want to. Now heel digs and flex the arms as we go. Now we're going to do low impact half jacks. Okay, pointing that toe, bend the knee. Lots of energy. Now kick back and swing the arms in front. Now heel digs and I'll turn arms. Jogging side to side. And hands on your hips and like a pendulum go forward and back. Change legs. And a walking jog and flex alternate arms. Just get your breath back. Now heel, toes and...
and change. Jog and arms flex. Now arms up and out. And arms forward. And in front alternately. Jogging, arms go out and in. Now bring your hands up. Always go low impact when you want to. Come down. Now we're going to do a walking jog. Just march it out. And next we're going to do what we call a hopscotch, which is alternate arms up, one up with alternate legs. Kick the leg back. And a walking jog. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to hopscotch. a little bit. This is the last track of our aerobic section and it's important for us to bring the pulse rate down. So just march it out and it's opposite elbow to opposite knee. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, opposite hand to ankle behind. To knee again. Here we go. Bring shoulders nice and back. Hand to ankle. Now we're going to step into a box, imagine. Four steps. Here we go and punch. One. And two. And three. Lots of energy to do it. Four. Now side steps twice. One. Two. And back. Again. And forward into the box left again. Two. Back to elbows to knees. Hand to ankle. Elbow to knee again. And hand to ankle. Get ready to do a box step again. Nice positive punching. Here we go. One, two, three. 
dreams. Last one, side step next time. Feet together, bend the knees, Cut. Box step again. One, two, three. Last one, hands on your hips and rotate your hips round. Twice. Other way. Now singles next time. Round. And round. Round. Last one. Elbow to knee. One. Hand to ankle. Get ready to go into the box step. Forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back. Last one, side steps. Forward again into box steps. One, two. Now side steps, no arms. Which it all helps to bring the pulse rate down. Forward, no arms. Two, three, four. And that's the end of the aerobic section. Now for our body toning exercises. So sit on the floor, bend your knees, lie down, make sure your spine is right into the floor, tummy pulled right in, hands on your thighs. Come up for two and down for two. Breathe out as you come up. Breathe in as you go down. And again. Tummy pulled right in. Down. Two. Up. Two. Now place your hands to the side of your head. Come up. Two. Down. Two. This makes it a little bit more difficult. Now if you find that your neck's beginning to ache, just place one hand behind the head to support you, behind the neck. Now, hands to your side and just bring them together and press the hands and the arms together. Elbows and hands really press. Work the muscles across your chest. This is what we're doing here. So press and press. Press. Keep your arms, if you can, parallel with the floor. So press. Work it hard. Press. Last one. Now bring your knees up this time. Hands to the side of your head, tummy pulled right in so that your spine is absolutely flat on the floor. Place one hand behind your neck if you need to. We're coming up for two and down for two. Breathe out as you come up. Here we go. One, two. This is making it even more difficult. And if you find it's too difficult, do it the way Gwen is doing it, with the feet on the floor. There's no point in you rushing and making it too difficult too early for yourself because if you do you're likely to get discouraged so just take it gently and progress and as you get stronger you can make it more difficult for yourself up two down two breathe out come up now feet on the floor now hands together now press forward back and down Together, keep the hands parallel, back and down. Now resist against each hand, so, and down. So press, forward, back and down. Together, forward, back, down. Together, forward. Last one, ready? Press, forward, back, down. Hands down by your side. Now reach across. Use the other hand to support you. Reaching across, this is working the muscles around our waistline. Now keep your chin off your chest. Reach, reach. Last one, each side. And then back with the hands again. So press, forward, back and down. Together, forward and down. Feel the resistance. Work those arms against each other. So press forward, 
and down together forward tummy pulled in all the time last one hands down by your side and reach across again keep that chin up tummy pulled in as you go it's a really effective exercise for the waistline so persevere if you get tired just have a little rest and come back to it after missing a couple but keep on trying last one now roll over onto your side extend one arm straight out above your head rest your head on it hand in front to support you lower leg is bent top leg dips down towards the floor we're going to take the heel up towards the ceiling get ready make sure your body's in the line back nice and straight here we go and push 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 last one drop the knee in front extend the lower leg flex the foot and raise that lower leg straight to the side like this working the inner thigh Make sure the toes are slightly downwards, toes flex back and just raising sideways. Make sure the hips are on top of each other. Now half speed, here we go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Last one up. Drop the leg down in front, lower leg raises sideways again. Flex the foot, inner thigh working here. Now back to knee dip, so bend the lower leg and push. Push, knee touches the floor, push. 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 Last one. Drop it down, lower leg raises. Up. 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 One more, then roll over onto your other side, extend that leg out, drop the top leg forward and push the heel, push and out, make sure the body's in a line again, back nice and straight, push, push. Last one, drop the knee in front, lower leg raises, flex the foot, raise, raise. Last one, bend the lower leg, extend the top leg, raise it sideways, flex the foot, toes slightly downwards. Make sure the hips are on top of each other again. Half speed and up, up, down, down. You can really feel the outer thigh working here. Down. Drop the leg down and lower leg straightens out, raises sideways, flex the foot. Now push and dip, push, push that heel out, push, aim for the corner of the room and push, push, one more, drop the knee in front, lower leg straightens and raises, up, 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 up. and roll over. Place your hands underneath your chin and extend both legs out. And we're going to raise our left and right and left and right and left, right, left. Squeeze your seat together as you do it. Raise. This is working the muscles in your seat. 
and also a little bit in the backs of your legs. So raise, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If it gets, if you get too tired, just have a little rest and come back to it. And roll over, bend your knees and place the hands to the side of your head. We're going to come up for three and down in one, breathing out as we come up. Here we go, tummy pulled right in, here we go, one, two, three and down, up, two, three and down. Now if you need to, place your hand behind your neck to support it, two, three and down. Breathing out, tummy pulled right in. Last one, two, three, and down. Hands to your side, lift your hips and squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Last one, squeeze. Roll over onto your side, elbow underneath your shoulder, body in a line, top leg forward, hand in front for support. Now lift. Just raise yourself up sideways, but the important thing is here is that you don't swing over. Now, if you find this difficult, follow the way Gwen is doing it, which is a slightly easier version. Now, onto your back, raise your hips and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, tummy pulled in. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Last one, squeeze. Roll over onto your other side, body in a line, elbow underneath your shoulder, foot forward. Now raise, raise. Now again, make sure your body's in a line. And if you find it too difficult doing it this way, then do follow the way that Gwen is doing. Raise. Last one. Roll over onto your back. Raise your hips and squeeze, 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 squeeze. One more. Hips on the floor, hands to the side of your head, come up for three. Get ready, here we go. Up, two, three and down. Up, two, three and down. Tummy pulled right in. Breathe out as you come up. Two, three. Hand behind your neck if you need to. Again, up, two, three. Last one. Up, two, three, and down. Now sit.
body toning section. Now for our final stretches. So, extend one leg, the other leg bends, turn towards the straight leg and take your chest towards it so you can feel the stretch at the back of your knee. Try and get your knee as flat as you can, but don't press it down with your hands. Hands either side of your leg, toes upwards and feel the stretch. Now take the opposite hand to the foot that's up and ease your toes back so you can stretch the calf. Now if you have difficulty reaching it, perhaps because you've got long legs, then by all means so use a towel, it. as Gwen is doing. And relax and change over. Bend that leg and extend the other one. Turn your body towards it. Chest down towards the straightened knee. Hands either side of the leg. Feel the stretch at the back of the leg. Hold it there quite still. Don't move at all. Now opposite hand towards the toe. Ease it back. Use the towel if you need to. And relax. Now bring both feet together in front of you. Ease the feet in as far as you can. Hands around the ankles. And ease the knees down as far as possible. Now, some people are very flexible in this area. Karen is. So there's no point in doing it this way. In that case, go with your feet wide apart in front of you. Press forward with your chest towards the floor. But only do it that way if your knees really are flat on the floor. This is stretching the inner thigh muscle. And extend your legs. And with one leg straight, take the other one across. The same hand goes behind. Other hand comes across. And ease it across with the elbow, stretching the outer thigh. Sit up nice and straight. And change legs. Other side. Hand goes behind. Hand over, ease the knee across. Again, feel this outer thigh stretching. Now, roll over onto your front. Have your elbows level with your shoulders, hands comfortably wide apart. Slowly raise your head and shoulders off the floor. Just your head and shoulders. Feel this lovely stretch all the way down your front. Keep your head level with your spine. Don't take your head back. And down. Bring your hands in a little. Onto all fours. And ease yourself back. Again, keeping your head in line with your spine. Ease yourself back without actually sitting onto your heels so that you stretch the muscles in your seat. Roll over onto your side, extend your arm, rest your head on it, bend your lower leg, then ease your top leg back, keeping the knees together, they should be touching, ease the foot back so that you're stretching the front thigh, and make sure the foot is level with the leg and not up towards the ceiling, hold it there. And relax, come up, change over. Bend the lower leg, extend the hand, head onto your arm, ease the foot back, keep it low, knees together, feel the front thigh stretching. And come up, sit in the cross leg position. Place one hand on top of the other and ease them out in front of you, opening up your shoulders. Sit up nice and straight and just stretch those shoulders. Now take your hands behind you, arms as straight as you can and out and as high as you can, stretching the muscles in your chest this time. Just hold it there and relax. Now take one arm across and just take the hand down your back and ease the fleshy part of your arm backwards. Don't actually hold on to your elbow. And relax, change over. Other side. Ease it back. And down. 
Now take your shoulders up towards your ears and down to the central position and then right down as far as they'll go. Head to one side, center, to the other side, no strain, to the center, hand to your side and reach across towards the corner of the ceiling and come down and to the other corner stretching the waistline here and come down and that's the end of our stretches and the end of our workout goodbye